All right, it's time to update the big group of projects. This is going to be my update for Throwback 30. But before I get into that, I'm going to ask you to please do all of the things and you know what they are. Okay, so this was hatched by Jessica Lee. And what she does with this is she gives us a list of all of these different uh, projects that have been done by the Fantastic Ladies and lets everybody in the Fantastic Ladies vote on them. The top 30 are what becomes Throwback 30. The idea here is that we go back and pick a prompt from each of those projects and then put an item to it, and that is what becomes our 30 items that we're working on. So I'm going to have Jessica linked in the description box, and I'm also going to have the Fantastic Ladies group linked in the description box. This is the one project that you really do have to be a member. There's just too many things going on, so we can't put it in our description boxes, and we all pick different things. Now, this is really fun because it gives us all a chance to dabble a little bit for all those projects that we missed. And that was the reason that Jessica came up with it is because we just can't really do every single project there is. Now, this started July 28th of 2022 and will end July 28th of 2023. I do not know if it's going to be coming back for another round, but I hope so because I like being able to hit everything that I couldn't get into as many projects as I do try to do. So this has monthly updates. Um, the hashtag on social media is throwback 30 project pan. That's 30 being the numbers three zero. Um, that is going to be in the title. And then it, you'll also find it in the description box if you want to follow that, that hashtag to get to other people's videos if, in case you have missed some. There is also a master list on the Fantastic Ladies group of all of us doing this. Now, I don't have a whole lot left in, but I do have a couple of empties and a couple of updates, some fun things going on this time around. So we're going to jump right in. I still had 50 shades of pink. For that, I had picked my lawn chrome. This is the, the toner. And um, it's done. We, we had lines on it, and it's done. I think I lost a line. There was one here. This is where we were last month. And that is it. You can see there's a little dribble. Maybe you can see it down the side. I can't get everything out, but by the end, I'm actually keeping it upside down and pouring it out just to get the rest of it. This bottle is going to be reused because I do not like the way that the full size dispenses. So I've been waiting to do this update so I can reuse this bottle. I'm gonna refill it and start over. All right, so that for the purposes of this project is a completed prompt also. And then we have Alice in Wonder Pan. I picked Blue Caterpillar. So that was a minimizing or growing product. With that, I put in the NYX Pore Filler Primer. And you know me and my primers. I love my primers. This one is completely empty. I did scrape it out. I, I kind of like this one. This one isn't bad. I've heard that this is similar to um, one of the Benefit Professionals. I like this better. I've only tried a small sample of that, but this is the one I like. But it is completed and also then a finished prompt. Then we've got Budget Beauty. So for that, it's just a drugstore item, a budget item. I pulled in the Wet n Wild Sleeping Lip Mask. This is in lavender. And I've started on it, but I haven't gotten super far. I don't know if you can tell I've been working on that edge. I just figured I'd work my way through it from the side and instead of going from the middle. Seems just as easy to me. So this is going to be sticking around for a while. These things do take me several months to go through. And like I said, I've been working on some other stuff. So yeah, it's March. I'll have it done by July. Oh yeah, definitely. All right. Then for Let's Get Loose, I brought in one of the notor notoriously morbid loose pigments. That's what it looks like in the jar. This is from Woodland Critter Christmas. This is Little Poof Ball Hat. I put this in for five uses, and you guys, it is just kicking my butt. I tried putting some in a pan. Can you see all those pretty pink shimmers in there? And I have a heck of a time using this. I have used it twice now. And, I mean, I've just got a tiny little bit there, and I don't know if you can tell that there are pink shimmers on that. But this gets away from me really quickly and is a gigantic mess. So that's what it looks like when I do it very lightly. Unfortunately, I usually end up having it be fairly heavy handed, but it's pretty. Still haven't found a good way to use this where it's not overpowering. 
So we've got a couple more uses. We'll play with it some more, see what I can come up with. That will be remaining in. Then we've got Mean Girl Quotes. And I picked, I saw Katie Heron wearing army pants and flip-flops. So I bought army pants and flip-flops. For that, I brought in the Too Faced Hangover um, Pillow, Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm. It was brand new when I brought it in. Now, I did take the stopper out and I am scraping everything I can get off of the sides. I've only got a couple uses left. I'm just gonna finish this up and throw it in the empties. I'm not gonna bother bringing this back because quite frankly, we're pretty darn empty anyway. I'm gonna call that a finished one and you'll just see it in my empties then for Mar March. Yeah. I don't know what day it is, let alone what month it is, but we're gonna call that good. Then I have Pan is Old as Time, and this was an oldest palette. So I brought in this very old Mary Kay Eye Color Quad, and it has four shades in it. Well, duh, quad. Huh. Got a cute little mirror. We got a couple of pans here, you guys. We got some good pans. My goal was to try and hit pan in each of the shades. We're at an epic fail. There's a tiny little dip in this one. This one's got a dip, but yeah. These two, we obviously have hit pan. So, that helps me out a little bit, but not quite fully there yet. So this is gonna remain in. And then for Tiny Pans, I brought in one of the uh, gift with purchase type of thing that they throw in their bundles when they do spend so much, get these eight things free or whatever. This is the Lancome Color Design Palette. The shade is, or the color story is called Gold, Go bold words also got a cute little mirror in it and um i'm working on it you i mean you can see we got the dips going on this one's almost done i'm i'm hoping to get that done soon but we'll see and yes you do have to use really really small brushes to get in here and these shades i don't know that i've ever swatched oh i actually have i have pan in this too I actually have hit the pan. It's just really hard to see, but can you see the black square there? That's actually pan. And then I've been using this black one, so I've got a good dip going in the black because I use that a lot for the Day of the Dead project. So these are the shades that are in. I didn't do the first one because I can't get a swatch of it, but they're not bad. They're pretty shades. The thing that I'm noticing, which I never noticed before, is this was like my first cranberry colored shade and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I've got stuff that just blows it out of the water as far as vibrancy. It's not that it's bad formula or anything like that, but when it comes to wanting a really good cranberry, I have got so much more that give me much better payoff. And these are all three, they're, kind of shimmer shades. They're not, you know, anything crazy. It's Lancome. It's not made for wild and bold, but I do like it. It just kind of muddies a little bit, I guess. It doesn't give me as much cranberry as I wish it would. So we're still working on that. That's going to stay in the project too. And then the last thing that I have in is for Zodiac Project Pan, and this is to finish a Zodiac sign based on a color. And I went with Cancer because I am a Cancer, and that is Silvery Blue Smoky Gray, which is exactly how NARS described this shade. This is half of the Zarin Duo. You can see, I mean, I am so flipping close to Pan that I thought I had hit it, but not enough where I can tell yet. So we're still using it. It's this gorgeous, I'm wearing it today. I have other things on, but I am wearing this all over today on the lids and underneath with a gray eyeliner and I will see if I can take a picture and get a closer picture in there but that's what it looks like and it's really pretty it's it is that kind of bluish silvery gray but it is gorgeous I love it I always have I um just want to hit pan that is my goal for that you know like this I was like oh let's see if we can get it completely emptied out that might not be realistic Let's see if we can hit pan in every shade. Eh, maybe. 
This one, there was no way I was finishing it, so it's just hit pan. So that is where we are at for this project, which means that I am getting down to the last few that I have. Um, one, two, three, four. I only have five items left in this. So I'm not sure when you're going to be getting updates. I'm not going to say I'm going to update every month if I'm not getting anywhere. If I have something that's fun and exciting, you know, if I can finish something or if I can get to pan in another thing, then I'll give you an update. But it's going to be hit or miss from here on out for me until I actually make some more progress. So that is what we've got going on here. But that's not bad. That's three more finished. So I'm pretty happy. Very happy, in fact. All right, let's get you to the music moment. Now, today I decided, because for some reason I had it in my notes twice, the song Magic by the band Pilot. And you've heard this song, because it's been used in everything since way back when it first came out and was a huge hit. So the band Pilot is a Scottish rock band. They formed in 1973. Essentially, by 1977, they had kind of broken up. They've gotten certain ones have gotten back together and then they've re-recorded some of their hits and blah 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 magic is not the only song that was a hit for them but it was their first hit it was off of their debut album and that album is called i want to get this right because it's it's kind of a funny way to name an album the title of the album is from the album of the same name thought okay that's kind of cool the two guys that essentially were the main founders of this band are um uh David Patton, yes, David Patton and Billy Lyle, and they had been substitute players for the Bay City Rollers. So if you're recognizing kind of a similar sound for pop music from that era, that would be why. This song was the first song, um, they did several demos from like 72, 74, but I thought they had formed in 73. Yeah, they formed officially in 73. This song technically was from 1974 by the time the album got out and the single was released. It hit number 11 in the UK and number 5 in the US is where that one peaked. Um, it sold over a million copies. I mean, it's been a huge hit. Like I said, it's been used in a bunch of things. And apparently, Selena Gomez covered this song for Wizards of Waverly Place back in like 2009. This is not something with which I am familiar. I just know the original. They had... I want to say like four or five hits so they're not a one hit wonder but magic is the song that i know so i don't know how much of that transferred into the u.s how many more songs that got radio play back in that time frame quite frankly i was too young to actually know what was being charted at that point and even though i was listening to the radio i don't know that i would know everything that was going on at that point so i mean i'm old i'm not quite that old now the funny thing about this song which makes it really cute in my opinion not only is it catchy and it's memorable and like literally been used in tons of movies and everything else so you've heard it here and there all over the place the song is literally about daybreak uh one of the guys and i'm going to look it up because i can't remember which one his wife it was uh david Patton's wife had made a comment about having she had never seen a daybreak and that is one of the lines in the song. So that's the partial inspiration for the song. But according to him, and this was written by Patton and Lyle, by the way. Um, it was based on the sunrise on Blackford Hill in Edinburgh. Well, all right then. So it is just a happy, feel-good song. Uh, so these guys were together. They broke up by 78. They were all doing different things. They were still kind of together. They kept getting, different ones kept getting back together. They did some re-recording of different things. There was a box set that came out in under a different label because they've been under like three or four different labels up here. In 2020, there's a four disc thing that, or it's a box set that includes their four, four studio albums, I guess. And it has some bonus on release stuff. Like I said, the guys had, re some of them had gotten back together and re-recorded some of these songs so that there's an issue of that. The last thing that came out if I am not mistaken, is, um, okay, wait a second. Let's go back to the band here. The last thing that came out was in 2022. So 
A compilation of Pilot's greatest hits, The Magic Collection, was released March 21st of 2022. So this stuff keeps coming back around and around and around. Uh, like I said, it was 2020. The label is Cherry Red that did that four CD box set. In 2019, there was a follow-up. and Yeah, there's just all kinds of weird stuff in the interim, even though they're not together and you don't have most of the original guys and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to try and find for you... <laughs> Hopefully. I don't actually always have the videos when I sit down to film. So I'm going to try and find, if I can find anything where they were performing live on one of the TV shows or something like that, I will do that. But I'm going to try and get you the 1974 version of this song and not one of the remakes of it. And I will link that in the description box for your listening pleasure. And I hope you enjoy it. Just a happy feel-good song that I have always loved. And like I said, ended up in my notes twice. So that meant I really wanted to put this song in a music moment. So that's what I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for spending your time with me. Happy listening if you decide to check out the song. And until next time, everybody, see ya. Bye.